take this from me, baby. You will not take this from me, baby. baby. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's everybody doing this evening? I said, what up, fellas? How's everybody doing out there in semen retention? No fap land. It's your captain, your man, the shaved Lion King in the building, bro. Feeling amazing, bro. <laughs> Do you guys understand? I'm on day 868, bro. Do you hear me? I'm talking about 800, bro. 868 days, bro. Your man, the shave Lion King, okay? Up here feeling good, bro. Living life, experimenting with all sorts of different energies and powers that the average man simply does not have. I feel so amazing, bro. And I just decided to come on here today and speak with you guys about the hardest thing, bro, about SR. I want you guys to understand something, bro. SR is so hard. We hear so many people out here, bro, failing. <laughs> we hear so many people out here, bro, falling off the wagon, bro. We hear so many relapse stories. <laughs> I mean, let's keep it real, bro. That's one thing that I probably will never, ever do. You're never going to see me coming on here making lots of videos about me relapsing bro that's just straight up embarrassing bro right that's just like going home right and not doing your homework and showing up to class knowing that you're not doing your homework bro okay that's some embarrassing stuff man that's something that you should keep to yourself bro okay because this journey is not easy for the average man and we know this we know this all the temptation that is put out there in front of us every single day bro keeps us frustrated down in our lower energy chakras and we're just not happy we're not out we're not able to put out the output all right to be able to compete with the everyday demands of modern society because let's face it guys we know this thing has gotten hard out here okay times have changed all right we have all these crazy things going on. People's standards are changing. Different groups of people are evolving. Things are in a constant motion. And if you're not one of these people, don't have your energy on point, you're not going to be able to evolve, bro, and adapt to all the new energies that's happening out here. OK, I want you to understand, like I said, they got this matrix set up for you to fail, bro. OK, they got this thing set up for you to fail. All right. Which should make you more competitive, bro. That should bring out the wolf in you. That should bring out the dog in you, bro. You got someone constantly applying pressure to you. And all it's doing is highlighting your weaknesses, causing you to self-sabotage. Are you guys not hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth right now? Are you not understanding what I'm saying to you? 
they are getting you to self-sabotage, bro, by your own doing. They have handed you a revolver, okay? They're not playing Russian roulette with you. Matter of fact, every single one of those chambers is full. They're handing you this revolver and letting you do all the work for them, okay? This is what they're doing, bro, okay? And I want you to understand that this journey is going to be tough. We've talked about it. We've talked about it. We've talked about it. But I'm going to keep talking about it because it seems like a lot of people out here just don't get it. All right. It's going to be hard like anything else that you've ever done that you've had to put in the effort and the hard work to try to achieve and accomplish something. Okay. Many of us have gone to school. Many of us have gone through high school and graduated. We know the difficulties and the way things can be in life if we don't have a good perspective on things. And this is why you got to look at yourself and say, I am tired of losing. I am tired of sitting back behind the scenes while a puppet master who I do not see controls me. Okay, controls me because I can't, I, you cannot control things in your life. When I tell you guys that this is the number one thing that a man could do, bro, to totally change around every single thing that he has going on in his life almost instantly, I could not make this up. It's a reason why this journey is so hard because the rewards come on the latter end of the spectrum. You have to work hard, bro. You got to go in your Rocky Three montage, bro. You got to go hard in the paint, bro, to be able to achieve, bro, the satisfaction that it is that you want out of life. It's not easy. There's nothing easy down here. Hell, I don't even know anything down here that's easy anymore. Everything costs money, meaning everything costs energy, That which means that you're going to have to figure out yours, okay? Or you're going to be one of these people coming up shorthanded in a lot of situations. The very hardest thing to do about this journey, bro, is no cap is the first week to two weeks of this journey, bro. OK, we know this is the hardest thing to do. Why? Because you're stopping the momentum, bro, of your ship. You have been driving this ship down a, 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 a river, a huge ocean with the waves and currents pushing you and forcing you in one direction. OK, and what you don't understand is in order for you to turn around that energy, it's going to take a significant amount of effort, bro, to turn that boat around and get you going in the opposite direction. OK, this is where you're at. OK, you're about to make a change. Therefore, you're in something what I like to call rock bottom. OK, you're at a point right now, bro, where you are don't really know exactly what to do, but you know that you're just going to give in to the unknown, bro, and trust, trust in the universe, bro, trust in your higher self that you're going to be guided on the right purpose. And this is where it starts. You got to understand, guys, for the longest time, as I said, we've been going in the opposite direction with our energy. OK, you have to understand this. We've been getting the easy dopamine hits. We are now dopamine junkies. And this doesn't just mean, bro, from watching pornography, bro. This means from all sorts of things, from being comfortable in your life for now, the ease of life that they have. They have everything that's at your fingertips. And now you've taken yourself out of natural order and the way things are supposed to be ran. So now you're confused, lacking in a Ability to go out and create the things that somebody wants to achieve in life because you're handicapped. You got to understand you took the easy dopamine, bro. Okay. You got addicted to false pleasures, bro. Corn, social media, video games. Okay. Everything that is easily accessible to you at your fingertips has slowly destroyed what it is that you were trying to build, bro. Okay. And you must understand that. So now what you have to do is you have to redirect that energy forcefully in the opposite direction, bro.
And what does that mean? That means you got to start making health conscious decisions and actions. You got to start putting in the effort, bro, to get what it is that you want or you're going to be left behind. Okay. You must do this, guys. Okay. You have to be in a place, bro, okay, where you cannot get distracted by outside forces and energies. You have to stay in your frame, bro. And you have to understand that anybody, and I mean anybody, bro, that comes and tries to distract you, bro, is an op. OK, and they do not deserve your time or your energy when they're knowingly distracting you and keeping you from achieving the goals and the aspirations that you have in life. OK, you have to become a leader of your life, bro. All right. You have to go back to base point, bro. Okay. You have to understand, bro. You have to go back to these skills that the most high creator that has given all of us, bro. Okay. But, it, but like I said, man, it's been taken away from us. And many of us are now handicapped because we're doing things out of the norm. We're sitting behind these computers and these cell phones, bro, trying to interact, trying to get to know, trying to mingle, trying to create relationships relationships, trying to create a beautiful life of genuine people, okay? But that's going to be very hard now because you're not going to be able to show off who it is that you truly are. I want you to realize that, bro. I want you to realize, bro, that every single thing that we had been doing was negative, bro. OK, it was negative, bro. And when you have that much energy going in an opposite direction, it's going to take a whole lot more energy just to stop that momentum. And then it's going to take even more energy to redirect that energy. OK, and this is what I want you guys to understand and why it's so hard on retention. Because those first week, that first two weeks, bro, is where you're going to have to put up the most energy, okay? I'm not capping you. It gets so much easier the longer you go on this journey. I'm on cruise mode, bro. My life is so damn good. I have such a great energy. I mean, so many new people. I have a lot of stories I'm going to share, bro. Okay. But one stream is one stream. We're just going to go through these things as they come. Okay. I've been having the most amazing relationships with people. I've progressed so far in relationships with people that I've met. OK, and it's getting better and better and better. Why? Because I'm staying in my frame. I'm remaining focused, bro. I'm not folding. I'm not showing my hand, bro. OK, I'm continuing to be consistent and what consistency builds a trust. OK, knowing that you have a product that is going to be consistent. And this is what is attractive to a lot of people these days, basically because they are on these social media apps, okay? They are sitting behind these screens and they're trying to judge and weed out people that they want to come into their lives. This is why this is such an, an important thing to do because it's going to make you the equalizer to every single thing that's going on in this world. And this is what I am doing and this is the life that I am living. I am meeting so many wonderful people. There are so many beautiful women who are in my life. Things are going exactly as plan. And eventually one day, bro, I am going to be able to look back on my journey, bro, and saw that I put in the effort and did everything right to make myself stand out so I can attract the abundance, the things that I want in this life to me naturally. And this is why this journey is paramount. There is nothing else better than this journey, bro. Okay. Because it's going to give you everything you need. You don't have it any other way as a man. There's no way around getting to your best version. You can pump as many steroids, as many supplements as you want. You can go and watch many red pill coaches and dating coaches as you want. And I guarantee you, you're going to be surpassed. Surpa 
fast and lapped by the retainer because this type of energy here, bro, make sure that you're firing on all cylinders. And this is what makes your life, bro, so such a spectacle to others and why you're so attractive and your light and your aura is so bright and things come to you without much effort. OK, I cannot make this up on eight hundred and sixty eight days. OK, your mind works sharp. You're doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. Everything is coming into alignment and you be so you be so shocked, bro. Um, different things that come out of the woodwork that are now attracted to your energy, to your light, to your aura that you didn't even know was there. Literally, things come out of nowhere and are now put in your path. These are the gifts. These are the best benefits that you're going to get while retaining your seed. But you must understand, guys, there is that tribulation part of this journey. And it is the hardest to do at the very beginning because you're still susceptible to the energies that you are now trying to pull your energy away from. Okay. And the longer you stay diligent, the more that you practice, you meditate, you focus, you go within, bro. All right. You start talking to yourself positively. Okay. The better that this is going to be for you to transition out of that life that you once used to live. OK, and this is what I'm seeing every single day, along with a bunch of people that I see in the community. OK, I see the positive changes and the things that are working. But the problem is people are still not making it out the gate because they seem to think that just because they go day one, they go day two, they go day three, that they're out of the deep water. No, this is why this is called a journey. There is many, many, many infinite miles that you have yet to discover, okay? And on that many, many mile journey, what you're going to see is you're going to see that you have a lot of things to look inside at and fix on that journey before you can start taking these big strides to the open light, okay? And that's what it is. What's happening? The God in the building, my man, the God in the building. That's what's up. Good to see you in here tonight. God, Vel plays in the building. What's happening with you, player? Good to see you. Good to see you in here tonight. I hope all you guys are doing well, bro. I really honestly do. I hope all you guys are doing well, okay? And you guys, I know there's a, still a lot of people out here that have not come forward, that are not being honest, about where they're at in their journey or even the fact if they're even taking this leap, okay? But they need to understand. They need to understand just like any other hard thing you've ever worked for in your life, bro, okay? This is going to take that energy times 10. But one thing that I promise you is the return from this investment on any other investment that you have in your life is in, it's not, not even comparable, OK, it's not even comparable. OK, the stuff that I get on the daily, you guys, it is, man, when I tell you guys like I am, I'm so happy about the things that I do. I just wish that I had more time to be able to share and talk and explain the different things that I go through on a daily, the different things that I see, the, the, the abilities that I've gained. OK, I wish I could come on here and I really wish I had more time to be able to explain the things that I'm going to. Um, that I'm going through. OK, I'm just telling you what it is, but life has is things. We're all out here busy. We're all out here in this matrix just trying to survive. But I tell you what, guys, I couldn't imagine that if I was going through all the things that we are going through as a country, okay, here in the United States, if I was not retaining my seat on how I would be washed up in this laundry pit, okay, I would be lost, okay? I'd be one of these people out here who are still stuck in that life, bro depression, drugs, alcohol, 
okay? Uh, low self-esteem, no confidence, bro. No energy, no goals, no motivation, bro, okay? No charisma, bro. No personality, bro. Because every single time that you are releasing that energy, you are losing those attributes, just like you getting popped in a game of COD. OK, I'm just telling you the way it works and you guys need to really, really continue to take this thing seriously because your future depends on it. All right. I told you guys that every single thing that we do today, bro, is dictating your future for tomorrow. So that that means if you out there working your butt off and you out there just uh, raking that soil and planting all them seeds, bro, then you can expect, bro, with consistency and effort, bro, that your future will be a bright one indeed. My man Nick in the building, he says, I can't wait to hear from you, Darius. Your message is always on time and on point. I appreciate that, Nick. I appreciate that, my man, bro. You're looking sharp as usual. You're doing your thing. I'm so uh, happy that you are in here to join us today, man. You are, you, are, you are a really good subscriber, Nick, man, and I appreciate the support and the love that you always give us, bro, when you come to the chats. Real talk. Insight says, peace, bro. What's happening with you, Insight, man? How's your life, brother? Are you doing good, Insight? Is your life good, bro? I already know it is, man, because you're a retainer, bro. You over here keeping it real, bro, okay? You over here doing your thing, bro, all right? And we got to keep continuing to be strong for these guys, man, okay? We got to keep leading by example, bro. We have to keep doing this, man. Okay. Because I tell you, the more that you do that, when this energy comes back to you, you feel better and better and better. You'll be able to hear it in your voice. You'll be able to see it in your step. Okay. Energy does not lie. And when I tell you that this is what they tell me when they meet me, this is what they tell me. There's my favorite thing about you is your energy. Oh, well, thank you, baby. I appreciate that. <laughs> this is me. This is me on the daily. Okay. This is the number one compliment I get. I love your energy. And I just be like, thank you, baby. I appreciate it. You like that voice too? You like that bass in that voice? You like that Barry White? That's what two months, that's what two years of seed retention get you, baby. <laughs> This is how I be feeling, bro. And you guys be sitting here laughing and thinking it's a joke when I'm telling you I feel this type of way every single day, bro. It's because I do. It just depends on how much energy is hitting me that day. I can go out here, bro, and I can create the life that it is that I, I really want. When I tell you guys I've had so many job opportunities, <laughs> I can't even make this up, bro. I've had so many job opportunities. Now, how how do you how does one get job opportunities? opportunities while at his job. Now, let me just explain that to me. If that's not the, the proof in the pudding for you, then just explain that to me. I have more people that come into my job, bro, that offer me a job to places that they're at, the, that they want to put me in connections with people that they know. And all I'm doing is spending 25 minutes, 30 minutes with these people, touching them, cutting their hair, all right, letting them letting them be in my org field, letting them hear the vibration and the tune of my voice. And these are the things that I'm getting in return. When I tell you that it works like that, it works like that. OK, and this this is this goes for just about every single guy that I've met. They've had, they've all said the exact same things. I don't need them to co-sign. OK, I don't need them to co-sign. I'm all I'm over two years. OK, I don't need them to co-sign. I'm telling you what it is. OK, and this is what this is what it is. This is what happens, bro. It's a natural magnetic energy between people that people can feel. Like I told you, there was a girl that I was talking to and she told me the hardest thing that she has to deal with in 2024, because we were talking about dating, the, the hardest thing that she said to do in 2024 for her as a female was to weed out people, bro, with low vibrational energies. When I tell you this female was on point, bro, on what she said, 
and you see this happening as a collective of people, the dating game has changed, okay? The way that male and female interact with each other has changed because people are evolving. A lot of people are going on this self-improvement journey, bro, and they're going within, and this means women too, okay? And what you're starting to see now is you're starting to see people, bro, who are truly looking for high vibrational energetic people, bro, that they can build happy, trusting, community, uh, commutative relationships with, okay? This is what people are looking for, all right? And for the simple fact that she said that she has the hardest time, this goes for all you daters out there. Here you go. Here, here, here goes a woman speaking on what is going on out here, okay? She said the hardest thing to do, bro, was to weed out the low vibrational men. She said it's trying to find a needle in a haystack. You've heard me say that to, uh, too about women, but she said it from her mouth. She said, trying to find the proper man that fits all the things that I am looking for in my new changed life is a needle in a haystack. So you're seeing people out here are actually putting in the effort, okay? And this is why they do now have these social media apps. This is why they do now have these dating apps, okay? It's going to be that much harder for you now because now people are not even giving you the benefit of the doubt to be able to meet them in a public place where they can see the genuine um energy that you're emitting from your aura. Okay. They can tell you're a good person. That's out the window. Now you're going to have to sit in a queue with 50 other guys and you're going to have to figure out how to say the right thing to get this female bro to acquiesce to what it is that you're trying to come at her about. All right. And you heard her say that. So just for the simple fact that I am doing this, and it has given me a cheat code to that because, like I said, I am talking, I am interacting, I am mingling with people every single day, and my skills are getting better and better and better. And that would not be happening, bro, if I did not go back to my base point, okay, instead of living from this fake, synthetic you know, society that we have been given through social media and all these devices. I really feel that this is an important step for you guys. Okay. You have to keep, you have to still keep doing your thing. You have to still keep being a human. Okay. A natural person. You still got to get out there and get it as a man, bro. And long as you are holding that seed, bro, I'm telling you, man, you're going to have everything that it is that you need to be able to get what you want. <clears throat> Insight said, let's get it. What's happening with your brother? Good to see you, Insight. My man, Don Vaughn in the building. What's happening with you, Don Vaughn? He says, salute, Lion King. Appreciate you, bro. You my man. Good to see you. Good to see you doing good, brother Don. Basketball star says, I'm crying on SR. I'm withdrawing from corn is a sign I'm heading. Or healing. Oh, that's what's up, bro. How long are you on? How long you been um on uh SR basketball star, bro? Are you someone that's been on a couple months? Are you doing for anything like that? Dylan, what's happening with you, bro? Online sports betting has became one of the most destructive dopamine killers. Social media has put false expectations in a rigged event. Facts, bro. That's the facts, Don. That's exactly what it is, man. We have so many of these different things going on, and it's everywhere, bro. I mean, it's everywhere, bro. Okay? When I tell you it's everywhere, it's everywhere. You can't go nowhere without getting these dopamine addictions, bro. Okay. But one thing that I know, man, like I said, and you know this too, Don, bro. Okay. In order for us to start identifying these things, bro, we start, we got to start cleaning up our area around us. Okay. And when we start to understand that our energy is being siphoned out of us, bro. Okay. Our blood, our plasma. Okay. Our, our cerebral brain fluid, bro, okay? 
the actions of what it uh, takes to re to build and produce the energy that it takes to create a child is being expelled out of people two to three times a day for weeks and months, bro. Okay. When we understand that, bro, and we start to look at the context on how just that one little thing right there is the responsible, bro, for you know, pulling our energy in a different direction until we understand and see it as that for what it is, bro. This is what's still going to continue to happen, bro. People are still going to get pulled in different directions, bro. People are still going to understand that these devices around them are not doing anything but causing harm to them. Okay. So we got to continue just to, you know, lead by example and do what it is that we're doing, bro, because we're opening eyes and we're awakening people around the world. No cap. Fawn says, are there any negative effects of sex without ejaculation? Now, let, I'm going to, I'm, that's a really, really good question, man. And I want to hit on that route real quick because there's a lot of different perspectives out there and I'm just going to give it to you straight facts the way it is. Okay. So yes, there is negative effects from that. Okay. See on, on the internet, Okay, bro, you're going to have a lot of myths and dis disinformation, and this is what that is. Okay, you hear a lot of these people out here talk about practice tantric. You hear all these people talking about, you know, build up your seed and don't release. Let me tell you guys something, man. Let me tell you guys something. The seed is not meant to be built up. Okay, it's not meant to be built up in your system. Okay, and, and, then, and then sucked back down. OK, that 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 the little device that we have down there between our legs as men, bro, is meant to release. OK, and you have to understand there's going to be a tons of negative consequences that come. OK, most of them are going to be long term because you're going to understand this. This is causing prostate problems when you're doing something like that. OK, you're constantly being built up. Okay, you're building up this energy, bro. You're building up this energy, bro. And then you're holding the energy back without a release. Okay, you have to understand that when you get built up like that as a man and you're not releasing that energy, what you're doing, bro, is number one, you're causing yourself some type of long term prosthetic problems, prostate problems. Okay. This is a fact. Number two, the next thing that you're doing, no matter if you're not releasing or not, you're still being depleted of energy sexually. Okay. You're still draining yourself sexually. You're still giving your energy away sexually. Okay. I don't care how you look at it. Energy loss is energy loss. And the simple fact that you're doing that act represents one thing and one thing only, which is energy loss. We know the repercussions of being intimate and releasing our seed. It equates to energy loss. So that means if you are doing the act of SEX without ejaculating, you're still going to be one of these people, bro, who end up in a deficit. I don't care how you look at it. Yes, people want to still be able to do it and they're finding different things to, you know, to experiment with so they can still interact in the pleasures. But the bottom rules of this game is no interaction for the, if they do, they are releasing their energy and they're now causing negative side effects. So of course, any type of intimacy is going to resolve in some kind of negative feedback to you. And that's just the way it works. Now, I'm not telling you, you ain't got to do it. I'm just telling you what it is. The problem is, and I start to see with the semen retention community is a lot of people like to come in this community and create their own rules. They like to come in here and create the things that they want to do. And they're not pertaining to the real way that you're supposed to do it. The real way you're supposed to do it, bro, is straight up celibacy, straight up return, retaining your seed until you are trying to create your child or if you have came into a mutual agreement with your partner or your significant other and you guys want to share energy. 
Okay. Other than that, bro, it is a complete waste of what it is that you're doing. Okay. And people are going to find out this the hard way. Okay. The women as well. Okay. Because I told you guys, this hits women just as hard, bro. Okay. They are releasing tons of minerals, tons of nutrition. Okay. Every time they do that. And on top of that, they have their cycle. They have that time of the month. They also have another time where they're constantly being depleted. Okay. So you got to look at a woman. She has a natural cycle, bro, where seven days out of that month, bro, she's losing energy. And then if she's overindulging in, 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 you know, the sexual energy exchange, she's being drained just as bad. And, and you've heard the science on what they've said about being too much of a draw on your sexual energy, it creates ugliness. What do you think ugliness is? Okay. It's pulling elasticity from your skin. Okay. It's pulling so many nutrients and vital minerals from the organs in your body that is used to create. Okay. And make your body stand out. Okay. All of that energy, bro, is being used for not. And this rapidly ages people. OK, this is going to happen to everybody who does not understand the true power and the true nature of the energy that they are wielding, bro. And it's sad. That's why we got to continue to con continue to do what we're doing as men, because we are leading the example here slowly. But surely what you're starting to see around the world, you're starting to see that fee or women are starting to do the exact same thing. Yes, some of their causes might not be for the, 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 the greatest benefit of all, um, hence the 4B movement. But what you're seeing is you're seeing women now, bro, who are going inside, who are keeping and conserving their sexual energy, who are being celibate, bro. Some say they may not mess with a man ever again, and that's fine. But there's other women who are saying they're just only strictly holding this energy for their significant other or their husband. And this is letting you know that we're going in the right direction in society, bro, because both sides are now starting to get it. We have a divide. We have a, a less people dating. We have less people procreating. We have less people getting married. Okay. And when something like this is happening, what you're going to start to see is you're going to start to see people come up with uh, different, you know, things that they can do to remedy or fix. Okay. Um, the problem that we're having. And what the problem is that we're having is we're all out here depleted. We're all out here lost, bro. Okay. And when you have that type of uh, confusion going on, you're going to have a bunch of people out here, bro. They're going to be in a lower chakra energies. Hence why people are, you know, are, are only dating from behind the phone. Hence why people are on the pornography fights. Hence why people, 92% of people are masturbating. Okay. Because this is what the, you're going to get from something like that. But like I said, as long as we keep being the rock, okay, in the community, and we keep leading by example, bro, what's eventually going to happen is it's going to be an, um, an, um, an effect on people, bro, where other people, bro, are going to start to jump on and see what we're doing and we're getting the results. And it's just going to go from there. Who's that, Matt? Matt, what's happening with you, man? He says, yes, you're having sex before marriage. It's a sin. Plus, why do you want to have sex with a high body count woman? Now, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, bro. Okay. We got to be very careful about how we talk about certain things. Let me ask you a question real quick, Matt. Let me ask you a truthful question about, about women since this question was brought up. Let me ask you a question. Now, is this something that women have cho chosen to do out of their own natural inclination? And it's probably not. OK, we understand how society has ran. We understand how most of us are being pimped out. We're being pimped out as as the, the human civilization. OK, just by being slaves, just by being modern day slaves, by being workers. OK, this system has also rigged it. OK, for women to not be able to thrive. OK, without a man. OK, not be able to, you know, th get the things that they desire in life without a man. OK, so what is it that you're going to see once women are start finally starting to um, come into their power? 
Okay. Yes, we understand that it's not all women. We understand that it's not all women, but you got to understand you got things like feminism. You have all these different movements coming out. Okay. What you're going to end up eventually having, bro, and it's just women, you know, doing their natural, you know, biological thing, which is to find the best person to procreate with. Okay, this is this is what we know. This is the truth. This is this is their goal. This is why women date up, right? This is why the things uh, things out there call hypergamy. Okay, because they're simply doing what their biological, you know, things in their body is telling them to do. All right. So of course you're going to be in a society now where women are going to be sleeping with a lot more people, trying to find that right person. Yes, sure, there's people out there, bro, that are doing it for all the wrong reasons, and they're just overindulging in doing that. But I'm telling you from the majority of women that I've met, okay, and I've met a lot of women, bro, and I talk to a lot of women, and I get in deep conversations with women, I ask questions, okay? From the majority of the women out there, bro, okay, it's just simply doing what they're trying to do to survive, bro. OK, at the end of the day, this is why you get so many of these women out here who get into these relationships and get into these marriages with men. And it doesn't work out because we already know the reasons why that e that uh, transaction is even taking place in the first place. OK, because there is something that's coming with that. There's something beneficial that comes with being in that relationship. OK. And with that being said, this is what you're going to have in a society, especially a society here in the United States, bro, where everything is built up off of materialism. OK. So, yes, there's going to be a lot of issues with people out there with high body counts. OK. Some of them are valid. Some of them aren't. But I'm just telling you from the standpoint of how I would look at it, if I were to put myself in their shoes, OK, there's got to be some kind of understanding on what it is that we have going on here in our society. I am not co-signing it. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just telling you what the facts are. So, of course, this is what we're going to be dealing with in the modern day society. Ten four, yep. Tell him, bro. He was on point. Don Vaughn says exactly. Nick, I got caught up in front, caught up in a in it for a hot minute. Glad I got out. Handle it. It's crapshoot. Facts, bro. <laughs> Facts, ain't it though? It's a it's a straight up crapshoot out here, bro. And that I mean that's that's why I say, bro, it's just best to retain your seed, bro, because you're still going to be one of these people that are going to be able to attract. Okay. You're just going to attract better quality people. Okay. You're not going to be the person out there seeking. Okay. You're not going to be the person out there making moves on the first thing that attracts your eye. Okay. And we already know that that's just coming straight from the lust center chakras anyway. Okay. So the best thing to do is just walk your path and eventually one day the energies will align. Hell, you could be one person where your energies align all the time. Okay. We're all different people, but the simple fact of the matter is bro, you're doing this the right way. You're bringing in the right people. And this is what we want out of life anyway, because most of us don't want to be out here having to put our energy all over the place, trying to entertain multiple people. That can be very exhausting. Okay. Especially as a man. Okay. Knowing that, you know, to, the, one of the ultimate goals with these women is to be intimate. So the more that you have of that, the more energy loss that you're going to have. The game really is, is what it is, what is it that you're trying to be? What is it, is it that you're trying to become? Okay. Are you happy with what you have going on? Okay. If you're not, then you must understand the keys to this world, bro, is to, to get the keys to this world, bro, is a very, very, very difficult road. OK, and the keys of this world is to be able to have the ability, bro, to go out here and be able to deal with people who are the currency. I told you people are the currency. The better skill that you have dealing with people, the better skill that you have learning how to interact with people, how to get the best out of people, how to, uh, you know, make people feel good about themselves, the better off you're going to be long term. 
Okay. And this is why retention is a must because it's going to give you everything that you need to ensure that this is what happens. All right. Other than that, you're going to be one of these people out here supplementing. Okay. You're going to be one of these people out here using all sorts of artificial things to bring on attraction to yourself, which is not going to be authentic. Okay. And again, you're just going to get yourself caught up in the same trap over and over and over and over and over again until you identify what your problems are. And once you do, you're going to start to see that it all came down to you keeping your energy and not releasing it. Facts, bro. What's up? What's happening, King Ali? How you doing, brother? He said, yo, what's happening with you, bro? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Glad you're doing good, man. Good to see you in here tonight, bro. Basketball star says, so on SR, <clears throat> you can't like shave Lion King or SR women who would look unattractive not being on SR. And now for me, being on SR, females who look unattractive, Eight out of 10 now, it's insane. I'm on day 90. Facts, bro. Facts. It's the facts, bro. Okay. And the energy is going to be very uh, displeasing to you. Okay. Like I said, it, it, when you're looking at things in your uh, from your higher mind, your higher self, bro, and you're not looking at things that come from the lust center chakras, okay, you start to see that just because it glitters doesn't mean it's good. Just because it's money doesn't mean it's good. Okay. All money ain't good money. Okay. It's, it's that same uh, philosophy that you're going to apply to the rest of the world. Okay. You'll be able to identify and see someone a mile away and understand that that person and you are not going to be getting along based off of what they're showing you. Okay. And that's very, very, very important. But again, if you're one of these people out here and you don't have any energy built up okay what it is what it, is it that you think you're going to do you're going to be one of these people out here just to picking up things left and right and what you don't understand man is not only that you're creating all sorts of karma and store and soul ties bro you are literally bro literally putting yourself behind a pack of a long distance infinite race okay you're going to be left behind bro okay and this is what you don't want to do okay because you're going to end up being one of these guys that come on here and being a MGTOW all right being a being a red pill being a passport bro you're going to be some of these guys bro who don't understand man that the whole reason why you're having these issues bros because you don't have any energy in the first place to deal with your situation and once you understood that bro you start to see everything around here is a joke i don't take anything seriously anymore bro okay i understand what's going on in life bro i understand how my energy works and i understand how to wield it i understand on how to get things that i want i understand just because there's so many distractions out here in the world doesn't mean i have to take part in them Okay, this is what you guys don't get. This is the matrix for a reason. Everything is going to look good to you. Everything's going to look temptation uh, for uh, temptation for you. Everything is going to look like it's so good and you're going to want to taste it. Okay, but like I said, you're going to end up running into poison most of the time when you're out there off of your purpose, bro. Okay. All right. Interacting with energies that did not get brought to you naturally. And that's just the way it works. Don Vaughn says, I've heard about devout Muslims can't even hug a woman if it's not their spouse. That alone is mental ejaculation. Facts, bro. And that's exactly what I'm saying. OK, that's exactly what I'm saying. But how would that, it's like this, guys. It's like some people will look at that and be like, man, doesn't that guy sound like a weirdo? What do you mean you don't want to hug women? Bro, listen, anytime you're going to do something that's going to cause you some kind of negative impact on your life, wouldn't you want other people to know that too so they wouldn't have to go through that? And this is what this Muslim thing represents. 
if they were to go through and literally hug up on every single woman, what, what kind of sensory things are going to be activated in a man? If a man just started going up and hugging different women, all of a sudden he's going to think that he's ready for every single girl that he done hug. And this is the, the, this is where you get defeated guys. I wish I'm just telling you right now. So you can have a clear understanding on how I think, bro. I honestly wish that I could go around, bro, and be able to be with her and her and her and her and her and her because I am truly think I'm attracted to that. I really wish I could do that. But that is a dead end road for you as a man, okay? Because yes, you're going to get pleasure Okay, your dopamine levels are going to spike off the chart. But guess what? Just like that druggie sitting there getting high, doing his drugs to try to alleviate the pain that he's feeling in his life. Once that post clarity kicks in, once that feeling subsides, you're going to be in a situation that was worse. Okay, before you even walk in it now. Okay, you're going to be in a worse situation than that. Okay, why would you want to put yourself in a situation like that? Okay, just because you have no control. And the reason because you have no control because you have no energy in the first place. How does it not make sense? If you need energy to walk, you need energy to make sure you walk in a straight line without falling over, that your equilibrium holds you upright. Okay, if you need your energy to do that, imagine how your energy affects you when you don't have that and you're trying to do all of these natural functions that you just took for granted that you don't have no clue on how important your energy is to make sure that these functions okay work correctly all right it is that minute when it comes to your life force energy. We're not talking about any other energy. We're not talking about expelling waste. We're not talking about urine, okay? We're talking about something, bro, okay, that transpires inside of your body, bro, where all of your organs are communicating with each other, okay, and they are pulling all of the energy they have from those organs. What are you not hearing me? They're pulling all of the energy from those organs, your brains, your liver, your kidneys. Okay. All of this energy is coming from that. Okay. Every time you summon, okay. Every time you summon your life force energy, this is the transformation that is happening, okay? And if you don't think that summoning that type of power back to back every single time, every single day, weeks on weeks, months on months, years on years is not going to cripple you after all of the information that we have. Okay, off the blood plasma, off the cerebral brain fluid, okay, off of the blood that you are expelling out of your body, bro, you can't be saved. Okay, you can't be taken seriously. Okay, you are you you're you're still a little kid, bro. Okay, and you have no responsible you have no responsibility, bro, to um keep holding on to that body. An adult needs to monitor to you at that point, bro. Okay. Because you're headed for self-destruction. All right. This is a real game out here, you guys. And like I said, I wish, and I'm dead. I'm not capping. I wish, bro, from the bottom of my heart, bro, that I could go out here and I could be like that. I could put my energy there. I could put my energy with her. I could put my energy with her. I want to put my energy with her. Okay. I have done that before. Okay. And I'm telling you, that was my demise. Okay. Not only did it affect me mentally, it affected me spiritually, bro. Okay. When you talk about getting robbed for all your gold coins, that's what that means, bro. Okay. Because now you're not allowed to be that person genuinely, authentically who you're supposed to be. Don Vaughn says, that makes sense. That's what it is, bro. That's what it is, bro.
Facts. Chief Sleeping Bear says, men are behind the times we are at, bro. That's what it is. It's what it is, man. And it was all done by design. But like I said, brother, I, I, I look at it like this. You as a man, you're a man, okay? You, you don't like being, you don't like people coming up to you and testing you. You don't like people getting in your face and telling you what to do. All right. You don't like being punked by people. You don't like being undermined by people. Okay. You don't like people having authority over you, but yet you cannot understand. You cannot put together what they have constructed for you in this matrix. You still have not got the energy together, bro, to say no. Okay. Knowing that they are doing this to you, but it's all in your control. OK, there is nobody else who is to blame, bro. You can give me every excuse that you want. You could tell me you came from an abusive household. You could tell me you had this happen to me. You you could tell me you had this happen to you. The simple fact of the matter is, OK, once you decide to say enough is enough, you've hit rock bottom. OK, there is no options. Nothing is working for you. OK, you now have the information, bro. OK, to go in and devise a plan. All right. To recreate this walk that you were once living out of natural. OK, now what you're going to have to do, OK, is you're going to have to face the music. OK, understand that is a long journey in the opposite direction because you've been lost. You've been driving this whole time. All right. You have an objective. You have a, a destination. OK, you are traveling in the wrong direction. OK, for years and years and years. All right. Now you have to turn around and understand that you missed your destination point. And now you have to travel back to where it is that you were just came from. OK, once you understand that that is the type of work, that is the type of energy that you need. All right. To succeed. OK, maybe then, bro, it'll be a lot easier for you to see what you have done in your life. OK, but I'm telling you from firsthand, I'm telling you from experience, I'm telling you from what I've learned, guys, this is the recipe. OK, this is how you achieve these things that you want. OK, and everybody can get there. I'm not hearing that you can't get there. OK, and all you guys out there that are in relationships, I hope you're taking this seriously, bro, because you guys are the next ones who are going to be victimized. We're all in these relationships thinking that we're going to be in these relationships forever. I told you that that's very slim to none that that works out, bro. Okay. And you're going to be one of these people, bro, left with your hands up when your situation changes. I hope that you put in the effort. I hope you put in the discipline. I hope you studied. I hope, bro. All right. That you devised the plan B that you're going to need, bro. Okay. When your situation doesn't go right. OK, because if you don't, you're going to be one of these guys who are caught up on that cheap, easy dopamine hit. All right. And you're not going to be able to handle it, bro. All right. When, you know, you know, the 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 home booty leaves you. OK, because it's it's, it's inevitably going to happen. All right. And you're in America, bro. All right. It's inevitably going to happen. People don't last forever. I'm not wishing anything upon anybody that has a relationship. I'm just telling you, what are you going to do? If you're not prepared, what if you've been one of these guys that's always been in relationships and you've never been forced to look yourself in the mirror and work on yourself? You have a lot of questions that you're going to have to answer soon. Nick says, got a super nice haircut a couple of days ago and combined that with SR Glow. It gave me true movie star energy. Had compliments all day from men and women. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, Nick. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what I experiment. You know, that's what I experience every single day. <laughs> People are like, oh, you don't spirit. The haters, bro. Anytime you hear somebody that combats what you said, bro, they're in their lower energy. Okay. When they're sitting here trying to just try to hate and say that you're not experiencing the things that you're experiencing, you know that they're a fapper and they're a lower energy, bro. Okay. Because this is, in fact, what happens to me all the time. It's the reason I walk, away, I walk around the way I walk around, bro. It's movie star energy. Why? Because you're different. You different. You carry yourself with that energy, bro. If it hasn't the energy to create 
a life. Imagine what it will do when you want to make that energy just glow off of you. Imagine what you're going to do, bro. You're going to, you're going to enhance everything. Okay. Cause you're going to look good and you're going to feel good right off the top, bro. All right. So if you look good and you feel good, your skin look good. Hell, all you got to do next is throw some clothes on. Okay. Clothes don't make the man, the man make the clothes. All right. But once your energy is on point like that, guess what? Every single thing that you put on, bro, is going to be off the chain. Everything that you put on, bro, is going to be top tier. Okay. It don't matter if it came from Walmart, bro. All right. You are going to look like Louis Vuitton, bro. And that's that movie star energy. And it can't be made up, bro. All right. You carry it. And then once they hear you speak, it's a wrap. Okay. Once they hear you speak, it's a wrap. You speak well, bro. You present yourself well, bro. You got that masculine voice, okay? You're not thirsty. You're not projecting, okay? When you're living a life like this as a man, the the possibilities are limitless, bro, okay? You're, you, you're creating so much, bro. You're attracting so much, and it's beautiful because, like I said, most of the time you're caught off guard by the people who are attracted to you, <laughs> I can't even make this up, bro. I'll be sitting there just chilling some day, and then some girl that I never even thought who was attracted to me will come up to me and tell me something that ensures me that she is attracted to me, okay? So just for that alone, bro, just for that alone, bro, I know that SR works for your glow, bro, okay? Because like I said, all you're going to do is just enhance yourself anyway on top of the way you're feeling on the inside, and that's just a fact. Basketball star says, Nick, you're not lying. SR makes us a celebrity, and it does, bro. It really does, bro. All right. And I feel so great on it, bro. Like, bro, it's 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 the best supplement that you can get, and it's for free. <laughs> they can't sell you nothing. Okay. I want you to understand that, bro. They can't sell you nothing, bro. Okay. They can't sell you nothing. That is going to make you feel as good as when you're retaining your seed. Oh, huh. Yep, that energy is powerful and dudes are out here spilling it like it's worthless. We're ahead of the curve, fellas. Absolutely, we are, bro. You couldn't have put that better. You couldn't have put that better, Dylan. All right. And that's what we're here to do. But that's all I want to tell you guys, man. I want to really drive home the point, bro, on why this is so hard, okay? And I want you to understand, bro, that once you make it out of the beginning, okay, just like any other journey, bro, okay, just like you made it the first week of basketball camp, the first week of football camp, okay, the first week on your job, bro, okay, everything's going to be a little unsettling first, okay, uncomfortable, unnatural, okay, until you keep being consistent, and when you keep being consistent, and then all of a sudden, naturally, things just open up, bro, okay? The answers come to you. You know the right things to do. You know without knowing, bro, okay? And this is when life starts to get beautiful for a man who retains his seed. Hey, dog, what's happening with you, man? He said, what up, everyone? We're doing good, bro. Good to see you in here today, brother. Dylan says, I got a date with a cute girl tonight. Gonna see if her soul matches her looks. Congrats, bro. Congrats, bro. Doing your thing, Dylan. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, man. Go out there and, and don't expect anything, bro. Just roll with it, bro. Man, look, relationships and dates, bro, can, can be, you know, things can go, you know, take off pretty fast. You could probably go on this date, bro, and by the end of the night, y'all could be tongue kissing, okay? It just depends on your energy, bro, okay? A lot of people like to fill people out, bro, but when you're somebody who is retaining, you're somebody out here who is living within his natural confinement of life, bro, okay? You're out here vibrating for real. You out here have a unique 
energy, a unique power that less than 1% of the people have in this world, okay? The attraction that you have with another person, bro, is going to be so powerful. This is why we have to be careful as men who retain because like I told you, everything that glitter ain't gold, okay? All money ain't good money. Okay. So as a retainer, your job is to sit back, bro. Okay. Navigate the ocean, the open seas, bro. All right. Pull up on something, bro. Naturally, bro. If it flows, it works together, bro. All right. Then you, you, you take discretion from that point on out. Okay. But you have to be careful because as a retainer for the simple fact that we attract a lot of energy to us. Okay. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to come to us that are not going to be necessarily good. So just make sure that you're patient and you take your time, bro. And you just, you know, you really let your heart. Okay. And your intuition shine in a moment like that. <laughs> oh yeah. Facts, bro. Oh, <laughs> 24 years with one woman had to divorce and find a new path. Much seed spill and my body feels it. Start while you're young. I didn't know better. I do now. 10 months streak and I feel great. Thanks, King. Oh, bro. 10 months, bro. Are you kidding me? Yes, bro. 10 months. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, bro. Congrats on that, man. You're absolutely right, bro. That's what happens. And you know what I noticed, man? I'm going to say this one last thing. And I'm going to get out of here, bro. You notice what I noticed, bro, is when I was in those relationships, I'm going to co-sign exactly what you said, man. And let me tell you, that was the downfall to every relationship, bro. Okay? Because once you start doing that, bro, you're not the same person, bro. You become very needy, bro. Okay? And now you're not that masculine leader. I told you, bro. Look. Attraction is traction, all right? If you're doing the right things, bro, you retaining your seed, you you living in your higher purpose, bro, a woman should naturally, okay, be all juiced up for you, okay? You shouldn't have to be chasing her down, okay, and constantly depleting your soul. You should be the person that be able to sit back, bro, all right, and be able to control when he is releasing his energy, okay? And that's a true person that's in his frame. That's a retainer. OK, most guys are not retainers. OK, so most guys are going to be out here, bro. At every given moment, anytime they see, you know, that yoga pants going through the crack of her butt. OK, they're going to be weak and they're going to come off their energy, bro. OK. And again, it's just one of those addictions. OK, that we all have to conquer, man. And at some point as a man, you're going to have to identify this weakness or it's going to be the downfall of your life. I promise you on that, okay? It's going to be a domino effect downfall to all the negative things that are going to come about in your life if you have not let, um, not yet learned how to control that energy. Jim, what's happening with you, brother? Charles River says, it really does way too much attention. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. Too much. And that's where, like I said, retainers can get big headed, bro. <laughs> we can. We could get big headed. We could get cocky, bro. All right. We could we could easily come about of that energy, bro, because of what we're seeing, you know, transpire in our life. Cause it's really true, bro. It's really true, bro. And that's why I said you gotta be, you gotta be a respectful retainer, bro. Okay. You gotta understand your power, bro. Okay. You gotta understand that you're not here to take advantage of people. You're not out here to be using and manipulate your powers for bad, okay? This is why the average person will not last as a retainer, bro, okay? This is a superpower. You are a superhero, okay? What the hell would Superman look like, bro, out here smashing every cheeks, uh, every girl's cheeks in the sky? What kind of guy would he look like if he was going around taking advantage of that, knowing that he could do that because he had that power, right? Now, as you, as a regular man, you have to understand that is your superpower, OK, and you need to take the responsibility is the whole reason why the most high has put you on this journey, because you have to learn how to be a man. OK, this is your test on how to be a man. This is your test on how to will power. OK, you're going to pass this test. You're not going to fail this test. You're not going to be one of these people who gain power, bro, and get corrupt. 
Okay. You're trustworthy. You are a Pharaoh. You are a leader. You are a king. You are living in your higher God energy. And therefore, you acquiesce as if you were Christ himself. Okay. And that's how we roll over here. Okay. We are responsible and we take uh, pride in what it is that what we do. Okay. And it's only going to continue to make us better. And you put that on everything. So guys, I'm about to get up out of here. I appreciate you guys for being in here, man. I just wanted to wrap with you guys real quick about this. I think this is super, super, super important, bro. Okay. It's super important, bro. And you got to understand, you got to understand it's going to be tough at first. Okay. It's going to be a tough first, but understand this guys, understand this. You should not be looking for no relationships as a retainer. Okay. You are letting things come to you and the things that come to you, you will know that they are meant for you. Therefore, it is not going to take any kind of guessing. <laughs> it's not going to take any type of risk taking. Okay. Because the things that are attracting are meant for you are going to come to you, bro. All right. Like it just came out of nowhere and that's the way it works. So keep retaining your seed. Stop focusing on the negative stuff. Stop chasing the women, bro. Start chasing your goals. Start chasing your health. Start chasing all right, the progress and the growth in your life, okay? Because that is where you're going to get the biggest fulfillment, bro. You'll be able to have all the riches you want. You'll be able to have all the attention you want, okay? But you first got to learn how to control it, bro. Okay, you can't be out here just spraying everything, man. You you cannot be out here, bro, <laughs> just spraying, okay? Because I know how it is, bro. I'm full. I'm on 868 days, bro, okay? 800, bro, in 68 days, bro, okay, of hard mode retention. And I'm telling you, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm full, and there are so many days, bro, that I'd be walking around here, bro. And I'm telling you, bro, I could easily, I could easily, bro, just decide to come off all, all this energy, bro. I could walk up into a room and be like. That's the truth. <laughs> That's how I feel, bro. Okay. That's how I feel, bro. Okay. I'm dead serious, bro. I, I am no different, but what I'm learning, bro, is I'm learning to be, I'm learning to be, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm learning to be patient. I'm learning how to conserve my energy. I'm learning how to let an urge as strong as that, bro be regenerated through my body, redirected through my body, bro, for a higher purpose, man. Okay. And I feel like if everyone can do that, bro, then the, the, the and like I said, the possibilities of what you could create and what you could have in this world are endless. So I appreciate you guys for being in here tonight. I will talk to you guys on the next one. I appreciate everybody for being in here. I love you guys. You guys have a good rest of the day, man. And I'll talk to you on the next one, guys. Peace, brothers. As holy mio, oh, sada mia, holy testicle Tuesday.
y'all need some nigga friends. Get you some nigga friends. Just don't ever, ever call them your nigga friends. Don't ever. Gotta fuck the relationship up. Here's my nigga friend. You guys say it all the time. White people.